Hi guys, welcome to the YouTube Make Station. My name is Gabrielle and we are here to make another amazing drawing with you. Um, today we are doing another character, uh, one of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, I am a huge Spider-Man fan. I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man was like my first favorite superhero. Uh, so we are going to be drawing Spider-Man. This is a character version of Spider-Man, a super simple way to draw an upside down Spider-Man. Um, you can also turn it into, I think it was Miles from the Spider-Verse. The other one, I unfortunately have not seen it, but I know that there's a different Spider-Man. You can also draw it like that if you would like to. Um, if you enjoy drawing this with me today, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and let's get started. All right, so to start off our Spider-Man, we're gonna do the bottom of the chin. So you can just kind of do a long rainbow shape. And we're just gonna do two little curved lines on either end going down and then we're going to do a U shape for the top of the head so we can just go and make a nice big U and connect the edges there. Then for the eyes of the Spider-Man what we're going to do is we're going to start in the center area of uh, its face and then we're going to draw a line going out to the side of the face and then running parallel down the edge of the face. So we're going to start in the center, draw that line out towards the edge and then along side parallel. And then we're going to do a nice curved line to attach those two edges. So it's kind of like a triangular shape. Beautiful. Then what we're going to do are the arms. So we're just going to start um, near the chin and we're going to do a little line curving in like that. So we're going to go out and then in. It's going to look a bit like a diamond. And then we can draw two lines going up on either end and then running that parallel again. So we're just going to run that shape parallel. These are its arms. And then for the legs, we're going to do a similar shape, just a little bit bigger for the foot. So we're going to go out and then up. So it creates kind of almost a diamond shape. So we're going to go out and then up, beautiful. And then we're gonna do two lines coming down for the foot and then into the hand there. So it tucks behind the hand, amazing. Then we're going to add kind of those details where the blue parts of the suit are and the red parts. I also added two little lines there to give the illusion of a bent leg. So again, we're just cutting off the arms, the feet, and the belly for the red parts of the suit and the blue parts of the suit. Then for the webbed effect, we're gonna start in the middle of the eyes there, and we're gonna do some curved lines going out from the center to the top of the forehead, and then out from the center going in towards the chin there. So you don't wanna do too many lines, we're just gonna create a bit of an illusion. Then at the top area there, the webbed effects are long U's. So we want to do some long U's in between each section that you see. So near the chin, we're doing these U's here. And then on the forehead part, we're gonna do rainbows. So at the forehead, we're gonna do these long rainbows. You can pause it here and just draw in your rainbows. You don't need to do too much. This is just to create that spider illusion. Wonderful. Amazing. And then for the arms and the legs, we're just gonna draw two lines like you see here. And then we're gonna do little rainbows on the inside of those lines. So inside each section, again, we're just creating that illusion of a spidery suit. So two lines and then on the inside of each section, we're just going to add those rainbows. Beautiful. Amazing. And then we're gonna do the same thing in the feet here. And we're doing those lines and then those rainbows inside of each section. Wonderful. Perfect, and then we're gonna do the spider. So we're gonna start with an oval and then a circle for the head. And then right in between where the circle and oval meet, we're gonna add the legs of the spider. So we're gonna go out and then up. So a straight line out and then up and then a straight line up, out and then down. So you do two lines going up and two lines going down for eight little legs. Perfect. 
When you are done all of that, you can add your string for your Spider-Man. And then I took my black marker and I just outlined the eyes a little bit more because he has that black outline around his eyes. I also colored in the spider. And then using a red marker, I colored in the face of the suit and then those spider sections on the body of the suit as well. If you like the markers that we're using, I also have them linked in our description down below so you can go check those out. Um, but yes, I'm just taking any red marker will do as well or a colored pencil coloring in those red sections and then filling in the blue sections there. And then I thought it'd be fun to make it a little bit more poppy. So I just picked a color. In this case, I chose um, yellow. On the other one, I chose like a teal blue. And then I just outlined my Spider-Man. You can add a full background if you want to add like buildings. You could add buildings or whatever else you would like. I hope you loved making this drawing with me. I'm sure it looks fantastic. Um, and I will see you guys next time.